Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will be talking about the Noble Garden event and I will go through everything you can do during this event and also I will explain how you can get all the different rewards from the event, including the new rewards from 2024. So the first important information is the fact that this event is only a one week holiday event. So as you can see, it's starting today and it will last until next Monday on April 8th. So it means that if you want any of the different rewards linked to the event, you will need to get them before the 8th of April because after that you will have to wait until next year to have another chance at getting them. Also, this event mainly takes place in all the different starting areas. So you can go in the Azure Watch, in Dolanar, in Goldshire, Karnos, Brill, Razor Hill, Bloodhoof Village, the Falconwing Square, and also Valdraken. But mainly the main activities that you will probably be interested in will take place only in Goldshire, in the Elwyn Forest, and also Razor Hill that, as you can see, is located just here in Durotar. So first, let's go through all the new rewards you will be able to get with this event. As you can see, the first one is a mount, and this is the Noble Flying Carpet Mount. This is a pretty cool flying mount, and I really like the little ducky on it. Then you have these two sets. So this is the Spring Traveler's Turquoise Tire, and basically you will have a hat, pants, dress, boots, and belt. And I think it looks pretty great. You can get a recorder version of this through the trading post. Then after that, we also have this pet right here, the lovely duckling. So this is something that is really nice as well. And then we also have this new toy, the duck disguiser, that will allow you to transform yourself as a little duckling. So the new main activity that you want to do is when you're in Goldshire or in Razor Hill, as you can see on your minimap, you will see this rare icon and it will let you know that there is a large duck nest available in this area. So when you're going there, basically you will simply have to drag this golden egg that will be around the area where the nest is. And then you want to put this golden egg in the nest and it will spawn a rare mob called Dietan Swift Bloom. And basically, this is something that you will be able to do every day on each of your characters. And when you kill this mob, you will have a small chance at receiving the new mount, the flying carpet, and also the transmog set. So this is something you can do only once per day per character. So I would really, really recommend you to do it on all your different characters until you get these different items because again after that sadly you will have to wait until next year to have a chance at getting them after that in order to get the toy you will need to complete a short quest line so as you can see you will need to get the first quest from sylvanaria fire flame right here and this is what the dock and then normally after that you will simply have to do a few more quests in order to get your hands on the toy and as you can see the different quests include what the duck, a full concussion, duck tails, and just a waddle away. And all these quests, I believe, are really easy. So just make sure to pick up the first quest from Sylvanaria Fair Flame and then to complete the entire storyline in order to get your hands on this toy. Then for the new pet, you will simply be able to buy it from the vendor, the Noble Garden Merchant. And as you can see, it will cost you 250 of the, of the different Noble Garden chocolates. And so in order to get these different Noble Garden chocolates, it's pretty simple. You just want to go in the different starting areas. And as you can see, you will find some of these different chocolates all around. And so you just want to pick them up. And normally you will be able to find quite a lot of them. It's not too difficult. And when you have them, you simply want to open these different chocolates and inside you will receive the Noble Garden chocolates. And so then you can exchange them for this new lovely duckling. So when it comes to farming these different chocolates, I would say any of the starting areas are probably going to be good. Uh, it really depends what you want to do. If you have a druid, it's definitely going to be a good thing because then you can fly and pick up the different chocolates very easily. Uh, so this is probably one of the most OP class in order to farm these different chocolates. And also, I would strongly recommend you to turn uh, auto loot on because like that, you won't have to click each time. Just open the egg and get yourself the little chocolate. So this is really, in my opinion, the easiest way to do so. And also, when you have tons of these different uh, eggs to open, 
what you can do is create a little macro and just click on it in order to open all the different eggs automatically without having to each time going on each of them. These are just a few recommendations in order for you to make it as easy as possible. So obviously you have a few ways to make some gold during this event. The first one for this year is gonna be by simply farming the lovely duckling and by selling it on the auction house. Probably the value is gonna be pretty cheap after a little while because this is not too difficult to farm and probably a lot of people are gonna farm it. But still, this is something, especially in the first few days and in a few months from now that normally you should be able to make some gold with. And then next to that, we have the Swift Spring Strider, which is the mount linked to the event. And again, here you will simply have to farm 500 of the different chocolates in order to buy one of them. And keep in mind, you will also have a very, very small chance at actually getting the mount and probably the pet from the brightly colored egg as well. So these are the main ways to make some gold during this event. But again, it's not the best way to make some gold. So it's really up to you to see if you want to invest a little bit of time or not. Finally, you will also be able to complete a few of the training post activities during the event. So as you can see, for instance, you need to collect 30 of the brightly colored eggs. Uh, complete two of the daily quests, eat 10 of the different chocolates, use the spring flower in arenas, and then do a few more things. Uh, so in total, normally, you will definitely be able to get probably around 400, 500 points easily just by completing these different little activities. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope it will help you get your hands on all these new rewards. I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos. And in the meantime, I wish you all a great day. Bye.